Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mehul and in this video, let's just go ahead and take a look at what NPM did where I installed the Lodash package. So let me just go ahead and remove everything from this directory actually and we have a nice clear slate to begin with. So I'm going to do that thing again, npm install lodash and let's just pay a little bit of attention to warnings this time. So we have a bunch of warnings. You see, we can, for the most part, we can just ignore these one because no description, no repository. These would be fixed by the first two warnings. So you see that the first warning we get is that it says that it cannot file, cannot find a file known as package.json, right? So the idea is what happens is that npm it actually needs to maintain it actually needs to manage your modules it cannot just install and forget about it right because a package manager has the responsibility to not only just install but also remove also update also you know patch in a lot of cases all of your modules right so for that, it needs to have a record. It needs to have a place to actually store the information about all that stuff. Sure, it can go ahead and scan node modules, you know, always, but that is not the best way because what happens if I go ahead and if I go ahead and say node modules and if I go ahead and create, you know, just, just create an empty folder like express. Does that mean I have Express installed? Well, of course, no. So that, that kind of becomes tedious for NPM to just recursively scan um, node modules for, for the packages. And it is actually in unfeasible as well because uh, what you'll see in future is that a lot of packages have their own dependencies as well. So for example, um, you might install a package named XYZ, which depends on Lodash, right? So you essentially install XYZ, but you also have access to Lodash indirectly. So that Lodash module would also be placed inside the node modules folder itself. But if you want to remove XYZ, you expect to remove Lodash as well, right? Because you're, you did not explicitly installed it. At least you expect to remove that instance of Lodash, which was installed because of XYZ package. So that's where NPM comes in. Well, for all of that, it needs a file. It needs somewhere to put that information because you know it cannot just remember everything. We have files for that reason. So that's what uh, NPM actually complains us for the first time that it does not has this package.json file available with us. So this package.json is a special, special file which contains a lot of information about your project but for the most part, it is, it is used by package managers like NPM and Yarn for, um, you know, just listing that what sort of packages, what sort of dependencies your project has for the most part, right? So this, this was a basic introduction to package.json, why it is needed and why, you know, it just complains that you do not have this file. That's all for this video. I'll see you pretty soon in the next one.